Hey everyone, Julie here. Welcome to Tuesday and another edition of Auto Week TV. Here come your headlines. Honda showed off a teaser photo of the 2012 CRV concept. Look for the production car to be fairly close to this. Fuel economy will be up and weight will be down. We already like the grill and pronounced fenders. Fiat announced on Twitter, yes Twitter, that the 500 will be presented in Abarth trim at the Los Angeles Auto Show. The sporty model would likely have more horsepower and slot in above the pop, sport and lounge variants. And BMW's North American boss Jim O'Donnell is retiring on October 1st. He'll be replaced by Ludwig Villisch, who's a veteran sales executive for the company. O'Donnell's 61 years old and he has been in charge of North American operations since 2008. If you were on AutoWeek.com yesterday, and we know that you were, you saw two stories that said more people are buying V6s and other small engines rather than V8s. So we had to ask, can a powerful car run on just six cylinders? Bob Gritzinger explains. With gas prices soaring past four bucks a gallon, we could tell you to unload your big V8 and downsize to a four banger as quickly as possible but we're guessing you're not quite ready for that. Instead, we've compiled a list of a half a dozen six-cylinder models that still punch out reasonable performance and provide fuel economy in the low 20s. A pair of V6 coupes tops our list, the Shelby Mustang GTS packing 305 horsepower and all of Carroll's extras, and the Camaro fitted with a strong pulling 304 horse 3.6 liter engine. Though you won't get a V8 kick in the pants, consider that it used to require a V8 to get horsepower numbers like these. Next up, two German sedans are worthy of consideration, even if both might strain your bank account. The Audi A6 3.0 and the BMW 335i are among the best cars on the market, regardless of powertrain. But getting 300 horsepower and better than 20 miles per gallon make these a pair of Teutonic treasures. We'd be remiss if we didn't touch on the Japanese offerings, our favorite being the Lexus IS350. Plenty of power, plenty of luxury, and even all-wheel drive if you want it. We also recommend the Infiniti G37 sedan. Finally, the Dodge Charger Rally Plus is a V6 model that caught our eye, but the car's 292 horse engine might be a little underpowered to haul around nearly two tons of metal. It's also the only one of our choices that dip below 20 miles per gallon under our heavy pedal. There you have it, some sixes to consider, at least until gas hits five bucks a gallon. For Auto Week, I'm Bob Gritzinger. Thanks, Bob. This is an issue we'll be watching closely as fuel prices fluctuate. That's it for Auto Week TV. I'm Julie. Have a great day and enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of Auto Week TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in Auto Week Magazine, and in Auto Week's iPad edition.